Hey guys, just a quick short video today. I want to um, go through real quick uh, the microcontroller project that we've been doing uh, on the website for a little while now. Done a little bit of work on it, uh, got it up and running just a little bit better. Um, it's a complete project now, um, so anyone wanting to do this project can basically just download the code, uh, go and buy a $6 microcontroller. Uh, and you can have a fairly wide range PWM, at least on one pin, um, and really, to be honest, that's all you need, uh, that uh, can be controlled from your computer um, very easily via this little application. Uh, so at, at this stage, uh, 115 is the default at this stage, COM8 on my machine, but it might be different on your machine. You just connect to the, um, to the COM port, uh, and then from this point here we can go through and we can modify the frequency and modify the duty cycle <coughs> excuse me you can see the uh, frequency slider on this side changed when I click the boxes this is a feature I've just added uh, so from here we can increase the frequency it goes in three decimal places at a time um, now as you increase the frequency it sends the um, frequency here into the application and then when you get the frequency you want you can just click send and it'll send through and it'll change the frequency on the microcontroller you can see here automatically se selects the prescaler sets the duty cycle and it sets the frequency accordingly uh, now at this stage there is a very small calculation error here that you can see um, what is it it's about five uh, five points difference roughly uh, now that's to do with the resolution down here okay so the further the resolution goes down the worse this figure here will be so this is not a hundred percent accurate you can remember it's code that codes a small microcontroller um, to produce PWM the higher you are up in frequency um, the less resolution that you will have. Uh, I have programmed it to try and do the best I can uh, with the prescaler. Now the prescaler, the higher you are, are up in frequency, the better the it will be. Uh, so there's, on some microcontrollers, there's, um, I think, five. There's zero, zero, one, eight, 64, 256, and 1024 for the prescalers, pre but this could be adjusted so you can go in if you know what you're doing in there and you can adjust this uh, as you need to. Um, so anyway this is basically how it works uh, this is some coding I've done just in the last sort of few days off and on uh, at the moment I've got this on a Pro Micro controller uh, so this is the Arduino um, copy if you like the Pro Micro Pro Micro. I'll bring a thing up now. Hang on. So this is the Pro Micro. Okay, and it's pin 10 at the moment. It's doing PWM. You see a tick here. See PWM down here. Uh, now at this stage, the pin can't be changed. You can do PWM on these pins over here, but you've got to redo the programming. Uh, so these uh, different PWM pins belong to different PWM timers. And at the moment, the um, timer number one is the pin 10. It's, it's set in the registers. Anyway, this has got a pretty wide range of frequencies. Uh, anything from uh, 0 0.001 Hz um, all the way up to 8 megahertz uh, on a $6 board. Okay, so it's pretty flexible on this pin. Now, you really want to make sure this is isolated, this pin. You don't want to connect this pin directly to your um, to your um, MOSFET or anything like that. Run the risk of damaging this. So you're probably going to want some sort of um, maybe a magneto coupler or something like that in there. Um, to, uh, 8 megahertz is pretty high for optocouplers. Most optocouplers are even less than 100 kilohertz. So if you put a, a, an optocoupler in there, uh, opto isolator, uh, you're only going to be good for about 100 megahertz, uh, sorry, 100 kilohertz. Okay, so you're limited on what you can do here. You're not limited quite so much on the board, you're limited on what you can connect here. Okay, 
So this is PWM uh, Easy Style. I really want to get you guys started, organised. Um, yeah, you know, I just just want to help everybody out. Uh, a huge thank you to all our current members. Our current members are such an awesome bunch of people. Uh, we've had success after success after success. Um, so to the current members, thank you very much. You are you are part of the historical record. Um, and you should be very very proud of yourselves. Well done everybody. Thank you very much for being part of this Thank you very much for Believing and thank you very much for Having the courage to actually step forward and give it a go. So thank you everybody My little uh, thank you is this project to other people out there uh, always believe in paying it forward So this is just a little gift from me to everybody else out there Again, you can buy these microcontrollers on um, either eBay or you know any any place like that, Banggood or whatever. Uh, I mean, for about six dollars or so. So if you shop around, you can get them real, real cheap. It doesn't have to be this one either. Um, you can uh, change the microcontroller. You could use maybe a Mega, um, Adreno Mega, uh, Leonardo, or anything like that. Uh, you do have to be aware that the pin might be different, and you might need to change the code accordingly. Uh, check your data sheets. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big, um, I'm a bit of a Nazi for checking data sheets. So data sheets, data sheets, data sheets. They they are your uh, lifeline, uh, and obviously they're there for a reason. So got to check your data sheets. Anyway, uh, this code will be up real soon um, on on the website. Uh, I'll show you the website in just a sec. Okay, so just in here, if you scroll down, down here you'll see uh, microcontroller PWM, cheap and easy start to get something working. Uh, now this is something I've been working on for a few days, so posted four days ago, um, basically just sort of started about four days ago, just slapping a little bit of code together, um, and you can see the idea here. <coughs> so I go through, I did a review on this microcontroller quite some time ago. Uh, I think I think if you watch the video, it says something like about five microcontrollers for $29 or something. So super, super, super cheap. Um, this project is, is worth its weight in gold. I um, have done these sorts of projects now for a long, 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 long time. Maybe perhaps 15 or so years um, off and on. Um, so it's, it's very, very valuable project. It really is. Now... Uh, these little boards here, these have um, optocouplers and stuff like that. So, I mean, you could look at one of these if you wanted to connect your output pin to one of these, one of these Moffets. Um, these Moffets for, are for uh, 3D printing beds. They heat the printing beds up, but you could use something like this that would be ideal. Um, now, it will be limited. Remember what I said before, there is an optocoupler in there, so you'd only be limited to roughly about 100 kilohertz with these boards, but still worth a try. I mean, there's not many projects that I do that are over 100 kilohertz. 100 kilohertz is normally heaps. And a bit of shot, so I think I'm pretty sure that's the optocoupler there. I'm pretty sure that's a, just a, either a diode bridge or a diode block of some, some kind, at least, anyway. So. Cheapest chips, as I say, about eight dollars or so. So for less than ten dollars, you can get yourself a a PWM project up and running. You can see I've shared a fair bit of code here. So if you scroll right down to the bottom, I'll be making a new post um, in here. Uh, so that my last post here was just with a, like a little bit of code, but now I've finished it off a fair bit more. There's a fair bit more, um, you know, things like um, error checking and all that sort of thing going on there. Um, you'll see there's quite a bit of a difference between that um, that PWM controller uh, and the new one. So I've got sort of sliding bars on the side that now work. So you can just keep scrolling, keep scrolling, or you can actually physically change the number in the box there as well. So when you change the number in the box, the frequency box, you've got to click out of it. Uh, so that'll update when you click out. So by clicking the send button or clicking on the duty cycle box, um, that'll update that as well. All right, guys, I uh, just wanted to get this out. Um, again, thanks very much to everybody that's been joining in lately. Um, the latest 
latest success is um, Bendorfer's experiment. Um, done really, really well in there. Uh, again, thanks to, to everybody that's contributing. Um, your Micro, Vajura, City Sharp, Fighter. There's there's tons of people that are contributing. Um, there's going to come a day where there'll be a lot of people that know nothing about it um, and will look at us and going, how come you guys are so far ahead? Uh, and we already are. We, we are miles ahead of most other people out there. Um, there's no one that I know at all, to be honest, that's anywhere even close to where we are. Um, this is just a, a little bit of a glimpse of what's going on. Some of the stuff here is not accessible to the average person due to uh, people not wanting to share quite yet. Um, so some of the stuff will be coming in the future. Uh, but what, what I can say is that <coughs> excuse me, some of these guys are so far ahead that the, you would be blown away at what they have running. Absolutely blown away. So again, thanks to everybody that's um, supporting us. Thanks to everybody that's um, coming, reading, uh, contributing their experiments, your experiments. Um, are invaluable. Uh, every single time we have a post posted that, that shows again more uh, effects that, that you know are unexplainable by average normal uh, conventional science we prove yet again that that science has got a gaping hole in it. Uh, I think most scientists would actually even agree these days that scientists, science has a gaping hole especially when it comes to electromagnetism um, so yeah, look, thank you very much everybody. Uh, this PWM project should be up within the next sort of hour or two, so if you're watching this video and it's not there, uh, check back again in 10-15 you know, minutes or something like that. Thanks everybody.